Welcome to the next lecture that is handling missing values. In this particular lecture, we'll be understanding how we can deal with the missing values in our data set. Okay, so for that, I'll be importing our libraries, the two most important libraries that is pandas and library, uh, pandas and numpy. Okay, and numpy. So here we go. We have our libraries with us and now we'll load our data. Okay. So let's check our data. Data dot head. So here we go. Basically what we are doing is we are given this particular data where it's a Melbourne housing data set. And these are the columns with respect to a particular house that is the room address suburbs and so on now this data will have some missing values in it and our target is to remove that particular values okay so let's check the data description so that you can be clear about what we are doing so for that we'll use data dot describe okay so now you can see that we are given the count of our data columns and in this particular column, bedroom 2, bedroom, car, landscape, building area, you can see that these are having less values than these particular columns. Okay. So the reason is that in some entries have null values for these columns. Let's check the data info also. So data.info. Okay. So now you can see that we have total of 18,396 entries but in some column we have less values the reason is that there might be a chance that in those particular columns we have some null values or missing values so our target is to remove those particular null values or to handle those null values so for that we use handling okay so there are different approaches to do so Let's understand the first approach that is we can draw those missing values column wise. That is if a particular column has any missing value, we can drop the entire column. Well, it's not a feasible solution because we have so much of entries and if each column is important, then removing a column won't be a solution to this problem. But let me just show you how we can do it. For that, we'll simply say let's name it as a equal to data dot drop n a okay and now we have to drop the null values column wise so have to mention the column also so we have to mention that yes uh, whether we want it to be column wise or row wise so we have to mention the x's not column sorry we have to mention x's so x is equals to one means that we are dropping the values column wise Okay, so let's check the value a dot head. Here we go. Now you can see that we are only left with these particular columns only. And if we check the info of this values, so a dot info. So now we have only nine columns left. Initially we were having 22 columns. So it's a huge loss of data and it's not a feasible solution because of this particular reason that we have to remove so much of parameters, right? Now we'll handle the missing values row wise. For that, we have to mention X is equals to zero. Okay. So a dot head, let's again check. So now we have all the columns retained with us. But what will happen is that some of the entries will reduce. So a dot info. So initially we were having 18,000 entries, but now we are left with six, approximately 6,000 entries. So it's not a feasible solution to try over here in this data set because it's removing so much of entries. We are getting only one third of our data. Although our parameters are retained, but we are losing are entries so which is a big loss right so there is one more technique that is fill any method what we can do is we can fill the missing values with either the mean or the head of a value 
So let's focus on four columns. Okay. So calls equal to. Okay. So let's take these four columns and use fill in a technique over those columns only. So let's say bathroom. Then car. Okay. Land size and this building area. Okay. So we are taking these four columns to work over them. And let's check our data. Data calls dot head. Okay. So we are taking this particular data. You can see that we are having null values over in these data parameters. Right. So there are so many of null values in these data parameters. Now what we'll do is we can fill all these columns with a particular value. Okay. So let's say name it as A and we'll say data calls dot fill NA with the value. Let's say it's 9999. Okay. So we are filling these null values with this value with uh, let's say it is with triple line value. Let's check our data. So a dot head 10. Okay. So now you can see that in place of null, now we have triple nine as our values. So this is the use of fill any method that is you can fill any column with respect to any value. You can also use it after using the description of our uh, data. Okay. So let's copy it again. Dot describe. What you can do is you can you can clearly see that for bathroom we have mean as column for car we have this particular mean value. For landslide we have this particular mean value and so for the building area. So what you can do is you can fill the null value of a particular column with its mean value, right? So if I take data and column equal to bathroom only, then I can set fill any value as this particular value. If I take only car column and I use fill any method over it and I'll pass the value mean, then it's perfectly fine. You are not hampering the distribution of your column and hence you're solving the problem also. So it's a very good technique. Now one more method is using the imputer method. What it will do is it will automatically use the mean or median value for your entire parameters. You need not to deal with them separately. You can just do it with one go. So for that, I'll use sklearn. Pre-processing module. Okay. And I'll import the imputer. Right. And let's prepare the data imputer mean equals to now we'll say that yes, we are using imp imputer. We have to pass our data and first we have to mention the missing values. So missing values that we are dealing over here is null value. That is not a number value and the strategy. That is how we want to deal with these values. We want to deal with them using the mean value of our column. So mean x is equal to zero. Okay. Similarly, we can deal with these values using the median value. So imputer median missing values strategies median. So we have used two techniques that is we are using imputer and we are using it with mean and median. So we are preparing two different datas. I'm preparing it for you so that you can see that we can use two strategies, median, mean to handle our data. Why we are using it? It is because we need not to disturb the distribution of our data. We can retain that particular distribution of our parameters only by putting a mean and median value. It will not hamper the distribution of our data, right? So our imputer is ready and now we will fit our data and transform it. 
so imputer let's name it as imputer mean only or let's say imputer data mean okay and imputer data median okay and now we will transform our data so first imputer mean imputer median these are two imputers we have created and now we will fit transform our data similarly we'll do it over here also fit transform fit transform and then we will pass on the data to it so the data we want to pass is data calls right because we are dealing with those columns only so data calls copying it and let's paste it again so here we go we are done with it and now we will prepare it as a data frame because right now it won't be a data frame it will, it will be an array so we will make a data frame from this so impure data mean equals to we will say pd dot data frame and mentioning the data equals to data data is basically this imputed data mean right and let's retain the columns so columns equal to calls similarly we will do with the median data so it's median and here data will be median okay so here we go and now it's time to check our data initially the data we were having was data wait data calls dot describe right and let's check this data dot describe so here we go you can see that here we are having less count because we were having null values also but here we have the exact count we have above in the actual data set where we have no null values so we have handled our null values pretty well and you can see that we haven't disturbed the distribution the mean is same over here the standard variation is changed and some some there is a difference in median also so this is how we use a imputed technique to handle our missing values in our data we can fill the missing values with any random number we want but we can use imputer to fill up those null values with either mean and median in a one go so this was all for this lecture thanks for watching this video and keep following